Hello and welcome to this segment of Piecing the Ruler Revolution Way. I am Patty Nethery, owner of Ruler Revolution and the inventor of a dozen different patented uh, quilting rulers. In this segment I'm going to show you how to make the leaf stem unit using the leaf stem ruler. Traditionally this block is made by taking a little rectangle and sewing two triangles to it. I have developed a ruler where you can actually make multiples of these units at a time. And the ruler looks like this. When I was inventing this ruler, I, just, I started to make it a small ruler and then decided that I liked that unit so well that I wanted to make it to where you could make all different sizes of units. So with this ruler, I kind of Texas sized it, made it 12 and a half inches square, so you can make 1100 variations of that little block that I just showed you. From little tiny with a tiny strip in the middle to a large uh, 12 and a half inch square with a two and a half inch strip in the middle. And the way this ruler works, I'm going to show you here on my design wall first, is you start out by strip piecing your fabric. And within the pattern instructions that come with the ruler, we show you a num number of different uh, size strips that you can use. Or you can go to our website and look at a formula, plug in the size you want your finished block to be and the size of your finished strip, and we will tell you in that for with that formula how wide to cut these strips. So you start out by strip piecing first and then cut your strips. And let's just pretend that this strip set is uh, squared up down here at the bottom. The way the ruler works is you lay your ruler on the fabric. And I use these little marking that's removable tape. Let me flip this over where you can see it better. It's, it's like a little removable tape. I line it up and I make my two cuts at the bottom. Then I rotate my ruler slide it down, line up the two cuts that I've made with the lines of the ruler, and I end up with my square. Now you would cut a, a block, excuse me, end up with a block. You would have a block here, then you would move over, cut here, have a block, move back over, cut. So you would actually be alternating all the way down your fabric. And this is just kind of to show you some of the variations if you want to cut smaller with the same width strip in the middle. So I'm going to show you um, how to go through that again just here on my uh, table. So I start out by having my strips and then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up on my strip and I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm going to make my first two cuts here at the bottom. Pick up my ruler, rotate my ruler, take the top of my ruler, line up on the cut line where I've just cut and then cut again. And this is where these little strips come in handy because you line those up with your strip so that when you finish cutting you have a perfectly cut block. Then I would move over, cut my next unit here on the bottom, rotate my ruler, line up on the line that I just cut and make my next two cuts. Again I have a block. So I would just keep doing this going up my uh, strip piece set. Now I'm not limited to just this size here. I can actually strip this as long as I want it and I can strip it as, as wide as I want it and as long as I want it. And if I do that, I can just keep cutting until I have all my blocks cut out. And you have just a little bit of extra fabric on the edge and the bottom. So the longer you cut your piece going in either direction, the less waste that you will have. Also, you're not limited to just two colors of fabric. You'll notice in this strip set, I've, had, I've used four different uh, pieces of fabric. Still, I would cut the same way going back and forth on my uh, stripped units. Back on the de design board, this gives some other variations of this ruler. And you're not limited to just having your center or your diagonal strip coming into the center of your block. You can also offset it on either, either side of the center. And as you can see in this example, you can end up with some uh, pretty interesting uh, little designs here. And you'll notice how nicely your points meet using this technique. Nothing is off-centered down here as you sew your units together. So again, this is a ruler that started out to be a leaf stem ruler. But as you can see, it can be much more. Behind me is just a sample using this uh, ruler. 
Another sample here is where I used the ruler and then I also used a snowball, our snowball ruler that we have and snowballed the corners of the unit just to add a little extra pizzazz to it. So you can see how easy now it is to make the leaf stem units and you don't make them one at a time anymore. You can make multiples at a time. And I invite you to visit our website at rulerrevolution.com where the uh, rulers are available. They are also available through the major distributors. And if you would like to give us a call, the number is 936-520-1928. Thank you.